calculate the release of x and y let's take a look at the conditions so the first bullet point x is the sum of 2 and y i think that is easy to interpret so x is the sum of 2 and y right and then the next bullet point five times the product of x and y is six more than the square of x five times the product of x and y is six more than the square of x okay so let's take a look five the product of x and y is six more than the square of x so you might be actually tempted to use a greater than sign instead of an equal to sign but we are actually supposed to use an equal sign right so this is saying that five the product of x and y is six more than the square of x so five x y is equal to x squared plus y right that's what the second bullet point is saying so now if you look at this we have a very normal simultaneous equation type of problem right so we have x being equals to 2 plus y so this is our equation one this is our equation two so what do we want to do we want to substitute equation one into equation two so we're gonna have five multiplied by two plus y multiplied by y right in place of x we are substituting two plus y right and then this is equals to x squared in place of x we are substituting two plus y so that is two plus y squared plus y right so before we carry on if you want pass papers and other study material notes past exam questions per topic organized in a very clean manner check out the website allpastpapers.com check out the website and i might not record all the questions in the examination paper i might but i've written everything already i'll just upload it on the website and then you can check it out there so do visit allpastpapers.com right let's get on so we have 5 2 multiplied by y that is 2y and then y multiplied by y that is y squared this is equals to 2 multiplied by 2 is 4 2 multiplied by y is 2y you multiply that by 2 you get 4y plus y squared plus y so we get 10y plus 5y squared being equals to 4 plus okay that is just 4 because we don't have any like term so y squared plus 5y plus 4 right <clears throat> so 5y squared minus y squared that is 4y squared and then 10y minus 5y that is plus 5y and then minus 4 is equals to 0 <clears throat> so right uh, you're writing your final exam you get to this point um do you solve for x or do you use the quadratic formula it's better if you use the quadratic formula but then let's just verify and see if everything is fine because in solve for x simultaneously most of the time you're going to make a mistake it's not that you don't know what you're doing you're just going to make a silly mistake so let's check and see if everything is fine 5 multiplied by 2y that is 10y 5 multiplied by y squared that is 5y squared and then four two multiplied by two that is four and then plus four y plus y squared plus plus six you see i've made a mistake here i've written y and then that is supposed to be six actually right so that is a very bad mistake right so let me let me raise this okay so that is 10 y plus five y squared when it goes to 4 plus okay so now it's 4 plus 6 which is going to give us 10 right so this is equals to y squared plus 4y plus 10 so easy to make a mistake so 5y squared minus y squared that is 4y squared wow and then 10y um we have y squared here 10y minus 4y that is plus 6y 
and then minus 10 that is equals to 0. We can divide everything by 2 that is 2y squared plus 3y minus 5 being equals to 0. We can factorize this 2y plus 5 multiplied by y minus 1. This is equals to 0. So that will be 2y squared minus 2y plus 5y which will give which will give us plus 3y and then minus 5. Okay, so that is fine. y is equals to minus 5 over 2 or y is equals to 1. Okay, so x is equals to what? x is equals to 2 plus y. So that will be 2 plus minus 5 over 2 x will be 2 plus 1 so x is equal to 3 and then on the other hand 2 plus minus 5 over 2 that is equal to x is equal to minus 1 over 2 so there we go that is 1.2 it's a easy equation as soon as you figure out how to set up your two equations which equation do you want <laughs> which equation do you want me to do next not which equation let me know in the comments. Don't forget, all past papers don't. If you like come. this video, you will definitely love my course. Go ahead and click the link on my bio and you will land on this page. You will not only find the past exam questions, but introduction videos where I break down complex concepts into small pieces that are easy to digest. It is very important in grade 12 to stay ahead of your teacher. And this is what this course is for. It's very easy to navigate through the course as videos are arranged into collections. You can clearly see that we have electrostatics, work energy and power, Doppler effect, so on and so on. Do you maybe need the help with study tips and creating your own timetable? We can talk about that inside the course and I can help you out. It doesn't even take a minute to join. Can't wait to hear from you.